CNN anchor Don Lemon said Tuesday on his show, Tonight, that former President Donald Trump was the king of cancel culture because the voters canceled him. Not when you disagree with them. Senator Tim Scott tweeting this misleading comparison of a vote in Georgia to the vote in Colorado and blaming, wait for it, <laughs> the wokes for moving the All-Star game out of Atlanta. Again, facts first. Props to our fact checker extraordinaire Daniel Dale, who points out Georgia's voting ID requirements are much stricter than Colorado's, not to mention the fact <laughs> that Colorado mails every active registered voter a ballot. More than 90% of Coloradans voted by mail, even before the pandemic. Funny how facts are stubborn, funny things, aren't they? And Colorado allows voters to register on election day. So, don't blame the wokes, okay? The former president, you, you know, you know, he'd get into the middle of this, didn't you? He knew he was going to do it. Putting out a statement complaining about woke cancel culture, in all caps, in case you might have missed it, and our sacred elections. And another calling for a boycott of baseball and what he calls all of the woke companies that are interfering with free and fair elections. Are you listening, Coke, Delta, and all? No. <laughs> cancel culture <laughs> okay again you gotta watch this because this is from the king or as we say the Kang <laughs> where I'm from of cancel culture pretty rich for you know who to complain about Democrats calling for boycotts of companies that offend them ladies and gentlemen I give you the Kang of cancel culture who got it in another dig at Major League Baseball today. Here it is. Well, I have, you know, look, I'm just not very interested in baseball mm -hmm. for the last number of years. I think it's not appropriate. You know, you look, it's, uh, you want to find a game. It's on, it's on every channel, and yet you can't find anything. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. It used to be a nice, easy thing to follow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know what I mean by that. It was on one network, and yeah. it was nice and good and beautiful. Today, you don't even know what the hell you're watching. So uh, I, I would say boycott baseball. Why not? Hmm. Never heard of ESPN, right? <laughs> if you, if you want to know this, we're the sports channel, baseball. Uh, why not boycott MLB, the king of cancel culture? can add that to his list, okay? Because there's Coke, there's Delta, there's Major League Baseball. But there's more from the king of cancel culture. There's Rolling Stone, <laughs> there's HBO, I mean, there's too much, like, I can't even like fit it on the screen, my face, if we get bored. There's HBO, there's Apple, there's Macy's, Univision, Fox News, AT&T, the NFL, there's Harley Davidson, there's Nike, Starbucks, Goodyear, Comcast, T-Mobile, Geico, Oreo, Mexico, The Wall Street Journal, Editorial Board, NBC, even Glenn Fittick Whiskey. That last one for praising a Scottish farmer who refused to sell his land to Trump. Who was canceled? Not by cancel culture, but by what? The voters. The hypocrisy and the double speak and the shiny objects and the lying continues. Know your facts, people. It's not cancel culture. Corporations are saying, this doesn't line up with our values. And now, the party of, former party of family values, suddenly has a problem with values. Interesting.